All right, so how we doing, fam? Hope you're all staying safe. Welcome back to more Atomic Heart. Right now, we're cruising through this game. Having a lot of fun. I've heard the main story is about 20 hours. If you do side stuff, it's like an extra 15. It's got different endings, apparently. You know, I'm just... I'm excited because I don't know what to expect. So, anyways, love you all. If you want more of this game each day till we finish it, just keep on like support. Let's go ahead and get this. So far, so good, Where I guess. Where do you think the canister might be? A device that dispenses the luminescent polymer is located on one of these platforms. Ah, let's go find it. The only thing is... The icon's in the top mid, so I'm assuming that's the right spot. Okay. I just got missile drop kick and I'm stuck in here now. Oh, maybe. Hold on. We take this and go to the top. Yeah, I think this is the right one. Let's try this first. Hold on. This has to be it, right? Oh god, where'd you come from? That's where I need to put it in. Okay, so that's uh... We got two right there. I mean, I'm just gonna do this from a distance, right? They can hop down all they want, but it really doesn't matter. I don't think they can get up here. You know? I'd imagine if they can get up here. Hold on, let's see. Oh, they can. What in the world? I haven't used my shotgun in forever, it feels like. Alright, we got a little voice log here. Hold on, let's go ahead and Comrade, listen in. We need to do something about the mushroom spores in the germination department. They sent us another robot they said it was on the fritz. So we opened it up, and it's full of mushrooms on the inside. The whole thing is packed with mycelia. What is it about the robot's polymer environment that the mushrooms like so much? At this rate, we'll have mushroom techs instead of lab techs. You guys are smart, right? Come up with something. <clears throat> oh, that was so sick. Cut him in half while frozen. I feel like we're about to encounter a boss, and it's gonna be that thing here in a minute. There's a lot of these here. Here we go. Work? Judging from its shape and diameter, indeed. We're not making this jump, so we gotta go back. We gotta do four of these, though. So we're basically getting this stuff, unless we get them all set up from here, which would be nice. But um, I'm not sure. We'll find out. I'm really impressed by this game's, like, I don't know. Like, the way they've kind of set everything up, I feel like they did a great job with just kind of building up the world and then putting you in it, you know? I do wonder what's going to happen after this section, though. Canister detected. Synthesizing aluminum polymer. Canister will be built in 35 days. 35? Great. I'll come back later. The synthesis process can be sped up. That's good news. How? The massive mixers that enrich raw polymer with anaerobic bacteria operate at a set speed. So if the speed is increased, the process will get sped up too? 
Where's the control panel? There isn't one. Under normal circumstances, the speed of the process does not vary. But a shock blast could provide their electric motors with... So we need a shock blast up here. There isn't one. Under normal circumstances, the speed of the process does not vary. But a shock blast could provide their electric motors with extra voltage. Now we just need to find those motors. Alright, we're gonna be going in this one, it looks like. <laughs> There we go. That's a lot of loot, my goodness. Hold on, we got save spot? We got... Oh, no. This almost feels like I should interact so, here. Hold on, let's... Uh, what? Let's see what we can do really quick. I wouldn't mind saving and getting this. Or at least, like, some of these other ones. Because it's almost like you need the recipe, but I could technically craft so much stuff right now. Upgrades. All right. Um, yeah, I'm tempted just to save all of my stuff. Because I got the damage increase on this one. I'm guessing level four also gives you... No, it doesn't. It's just recoil. Energy bonus. Increases damage on that one. I think I'm good there. This is one I really like. I'm going to be using this a lot, probably. But I also just feel like, because we got to have the recipe, okay. Polygon 8. So it tells you where it is. And it shows you like a picture of the room too. Nice. And it says C on map. Just handing it to you. Okay. The EMP. Um, I could install this, but I'm low on the resources. Yeah, we'll have to try this later on. All right, here we go. Yeah, there we go. Did you know there was a cable car here? I assume there must be a way to service the equipment hanging from the ceiling. All right, so we're moving. We're going to be fighting flying stuff here in a minute. I have a feeling we're going to be doing that. I'm assuming it's going this slow because he want well we gotta be careful it's a long way down I could get hurt hurt you're an optimist that's my thing Chucky there you go speeding up a little bit it worked look at that pool glow it's actually kind of pretty please note that you're Unscheduled maintenance has initiated the repair algorithm. This is one way to make some uh, unique gameplay elements. Speeding everything up by doing this. I'm assuming it's going to slow because if you need to recharge your uh, ability, it gives it time. Like if you miss somehow. There it is. I had a feeling. That's more like it. Rapid increase in Three shots, does it? Oh shit, those cellas again. The system is about to deploy more cellas. No shit. Kind of gives you the option because you're used to shocking those, but you kind of have to not do it, essentially. We're almost there. All right, five days. That scared me. I didn't see it right there. Oh my god. I'm totally dead here. Okay. How exactly am I supposed to defend myself? One and none on those. Lousy goddamn cable car go any faster. No one foresaw this particular Dashing while jumping. Events. It was a rhetorical question, Chuck. Oh, hold on. Uh, we're supposed to just make it. Okay.
That thing was annoying. I don't know why I thought it was one of the other robots. I did not see it. All right, so jump, dash. Wait. Hmm. What the? Takes care of that at least. Good grief. Okay, last time we saw something like this where you rotate these. Now the puzzle comes out. Okay. Uh, let's rotate this around. We're not going to get attacked every time we make a mistake, are we? We need green on the other side. Uh, we're good. I feel like the little jump dash thing isn't really consistent. Oh my! Okay, game. Get back. How do I even get back up there? The ultimate question. What in the world is this? Oh my god, this thing's got some health, man. Why is it so tanky? It's like, that's the ultimate punishment. There we go. Oh my god. I bet you, though, this enemy drops some... Oh, yeah, a lot of stuff. Okay. It's up there, so getting back up to this... Hold on. Yeah, it's a... Okay, it's right here. I was... My brain just went... I just couldn't figure it out. Could actually just land back on the platform right here. There we go. All right, we're moving. Phase two. I kind of want it. Well, let me reload everything. Did I pass one already? There was three on the other side. I only see two this time. Would be nice if we didn't have any other enemies attack us just yet, but we shall see. My inventory space had to put some health up earlier. I might bring it back out because I'm only down to five. I don't want to use it too much. I have the thing where I can survive at one HP. Uh-oh. I wish I could play on M and K sometimes. But I like most shooters I try to play on one day. One day. I try to like We just need to speed up the last motor. Well, at least I don't have to worry about ammo. Where's the giant wrecking ball thing at? I feel like right when we get done we're gonna have to fight that. I'm getting cooked right now. Man, this thing is fast. There we go. Ten seconds. Let's go. That's better. Pleasant lights all around. Chela's buzzing in the distance. How romantic. getting cooked again two of them okay we're out of here Can 
Please eject the canister. Okay, um... You can collect the canister now. Let me go Access in here and grounded. get my stuff really quick. I actually don't need... Hold on. Do I need to go to storage and bring it out? I think I do, yeah. Okay. Uh, move. Let's bring it all up. I'll top off my health as well. I put it up thinking I may not use it, but... Kind of run into a lot of that, so... All right. I'm assuming... We could take this to go back around. I might could run and dash jump, but maybe it's actually easier if I just do this instead. You always hear voices when you're in here too. I should probably take it easy on my shotgun ammo. Oh my goodness. Can I make this? Oh man, almost. The dash just didn't do enough. Right here. It's crazy. We have to get four of these things and this is like one of four. So we're going to be doing this quest for a long time. All right, I think we're fine. Hopefully. My aim is a little rusty sometimes. That pistol feels a lot different. All right, we made it. Let's get it. Oh, no. Something's it's saying game saved and go down here. That's where that thing was earlier, wasn't it? Oh, boy. Comrade Major. Yes. Got something constructive to say? Have I done something to offend you? Why are you taking your frustration out on me? <sighs> Sorry. It's not your fault. I'm just mad at myself. Why? You didn't kill Petrov. He was killed by his own weapon. A hostile robot. That doesn't matter. I was supposed to take him alive, and I failed. And that's not all. Sechenov saved my life. He's like a father to me. As far as I can remember, anyway, I let him down. How much of your life do you remember, Comrade Major? Uh, two years, maybe a little more. I can't remember much from before I got hurt, but as I said, he's like a father to me. If there's anything I'm sure about, it's that. Fair enough. But it's illogical to berate yourself for something that isn't your fault. Who cares if it's logical or not? Dr. Sechenov was counting on me, and I let him down. Now he's disappointed in me. And I feel like shit. If that's what's troubling you, just let it go. There's nothing unusual about your situation. What do you mean? Isn't it obvious? Comrade Sechenov is always disappointed in everyone. There's no pleasing the man. His perfectionism is pathological, and everyone knows it. Every single person in his life lets him down. What? No, that's bullshit. Neuropolymer gloves are incapable of deception. Uh, yeah, I guess so. All right, I gotta find a way to the boiler room. So he doesn't remember much of his past. Oh no. A lot of loot. I don't like that. We got a... Dynamo. Okay. February 27th, 1955. Pesticide department. Fire beetles. Oh no. Oh, let me read the other ones. Or at least, like, put them on the screen so you can at least pause it if you need to. That went way too fast. Hold on. Scrolling's a little quick sometimes. Uh, 
Uh, it's not through there, but... Like, what does this door even go to? Once you kind of get the rhythm of those, it's pretty simple. Well, I should struggle with my next one, though. <laughs> I'm going to struggle big time. Wait, was that just a shortcut to get back out here? That's funny. All that for nothing. So if the other ones... I don't... Man, if we got to get three more of these things and the first one was like... I mean, it was out there. We had to do a lot of stuff just to get one. But maybe that was like the long one. Why are they looking kind of different? Cool off boiler one, two, and three. Okay. Uh, the boilers look like they're about to blow. What the hell are we supposed to do? I have no data. I've never been here before. <sighs> okay. I'll deal with it. That would be my guess. <laughs> I guess I didn't do it right. I've seen that stuff before. It's cryogenic, right? Indeed, it is. That is a Fahrenheit, a candle filled with cryopolymer. It's designed to reduce temperatures and equalize pressure in high temperature furnaces. I'll try getting them into the boilers. How do I get into the pipe? It's like they're not really attacking me. Uh oh, we got it. Woo, that's close. What we got going on back here? Hold on, let's see. That's freaky. They're here. Okay, I found the opening. Let me bring this, hold on. That didn't cool off any of them? Maybe we gotta keep sending him, hold on. That didn't work. Oh, I see. Okay, so what you have to do is move it. Okay. I was wondering. You can only do it one at a time. Well, this is different. There's one. It worked. Two more left. Gee, are you sure? It's gonna be tricky. Looks like it goes. Oh. That the only one. It's a good thing the pipes openings in the next room and not over by the birch tree. Getting attacked, really? They don't take much damage in this area. Okay. All right. Second one's all set. Hey, one more. And it's all on the other side. Charles, who's singing? I've never heard him before. I have no idea. This is a broadcast from the Academy of Consequences Radio of the Future. It could be anything. The future is vast. 
Who the hell came up with all this shit? I'm sick to death of shoving balls into tubes. We're doing this so we can leave the Vavilov complex. Why can't I just, I don't know, walk out a regular door? I'm afraid only an irregular door is available. I think we gotta go all the way around the room with it. I think after this puzzle, I might take a little break. I've been playing for about two and a half hours. Oh wait, wrong way. Go down. I've enjoyed this game a lot. It's a little different. Reminds me like Wolfenstein, Bioshock a little bit. Just a unique type game, you know? Oh no, I messed up. Wait. Where was I supposed to split apart? Oh, right here. Where did the... Where did it go? Oh, wait, it's on the edge. That's cool you don't, like, lose it there, you know? I just bring it this way. Hopefully this is right. That's a pretty cool puzzle, I must say. What? It's stuck? No, no, you gotta be kidding. That can't be right. Am I tripping or did I like... I did it, right? But it's like not going in. Oh, wait, wait. Well, There it is. Oh god. What a relief. <clears throat> How do we get up there? Hold on. Comrade Major, have you found Dr. Filatova yet? The one who helped Petrov butcher hundreds of people? No. She's still crawling around somewhere. I emphasize that Dr. Filatova must not be hurt. If her life is threatened, you must come to her defense. What? Rescue the bitch whose fault it is I'm wading knee-deep in gore? What the fuck? Traitor Petrov used Dr. Filatova without her knowledge. She had no inkling of his true intentions. I mean the viciousness of his homicidal maniac. Her guilt must be established by a court of law. <laughs> Too good for her. She deserves no less. Dr. Filatova is a renowned neural surgeon. Dr. Sechenov entrusted her with a collection. What's the hot workshop used for? Heat-resistant polymers are made here. But most of the research is dedicated to the cultivation of heat-resistant flora. Nice. The polymers here are enriched with essential oils from Cacticae cereris, a cactus. The polymers make it possible to cultivate groups of plants that are adapted to high temperatures. Do they want to make the desert greener or something? Something like that. They plan to terraform Mars. Hopeless as simple as getting this. We shall see, though. I don't think I can make this jump. It seems too too far away. Hold on. Uh, is this thing moving? All? I guess not. So we go back here, maybe? I don't know. It's right there. Hmm. Let's try to see. Okay, if we go around, it looks like the wall has stuff you can climb back there. Okay. That's probably what it is. I don't know if that's the right way or not, but I did it. Little head and chest back here. We got two of them. Let's go. Shotgun shells, pretty much everything. The only thing I don't really see much of a need for in this game is the alarm level on the top right. You know, it, it just seems like it's not really necessary. Because there's not that many enemies in the game, at least right now there's not. Wait, can I? 
And I have Mike kid just almost. If I I don't know. I'm torn because I don't know if like I can't climb anything else right here. Maybe hold on. Oh wait, maybe we can climb this. And get a little higher. Yep. There we go. Progress. Let's get it, baby. The canisters fill automatically once the temperature is normalized. Little audio thing. I'll listen to that later on. I want to collect this. Everything here seems pretty cut and dry. We should head back before something fucked up happens. What do we seems know like it was about the trust girlfriend, Charles? Are you referring to Dr. Philatimo? That's what I said. Did the cat get your tongue? Do you know her? Dr. Larissa Falatova, MD, has worked with Dr. Sechenov for many years. He entrusted her with one of the most crucial aspects of Collective 2.0, with good reason. She replaced the late Chariton Zaharov in that role. Who's Zaharov? A tenured professor of medical science, an esteemed neurosurgeon, and one of the scientists who vanquished Attention. the brown plague. Chariton Radionovich Zaharov was also Dr. Sechenov's closest friend and trusted colleague. They laid the foundation for Facility 3826 together. Great, whatever. So what about Filatova? She's a talented neurosurgeon and was Comrade Zaharov's student and assistant. She continued the professor's work after he died. But she is now a criminal and a traitor to the motherland. Understood. It's too bad. She's kind of cute. All right, so I'm going to take a little break. I've been playing for a very long time. I'm going to kind of edit everything. I'm not sure if it's going to be the end of the video or if I'll cut to me continue to keep playing. Uh, but if you want more of this game, just keep it up. All the likes and support greatly appreciated. I love you all. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.